everybody it's Cornicia and welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you guys how to do a full wig with the closure and everything I actually go in, I go into real detail in this video of how I bleach my knots how um, I put it on how you know it fit and everything I did not go into detail on how I actually soaked the hair onto the cap just because in my last video I showed you guys how I'm how I make my U part wig and I actually went into detail on how I sew the hair onto the cap so this video I just feel like I really didn't want to make the video just super long like that but if you need any help on how to sew the hair onto the cap just go to my other video and I'll sh it'll show you exactly how I did it but this is a really good video I hope you guys like it and let's get started so I have a plastic bowl and a plastic spoon so I can mix the lightning activator and the cream peroxide developer so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in the bowl I'm not gonna use the whole thing And then I'm going to mix it. And I want it to be thick. I don't want it to be... Um, <clears throat> I don't want it to be liquidy because I don't want it to seep through the hair. So as you can see, um, I've mixed it all up. I didn't use the whole thing. But here it is, you want it to be more thick. You don't want it to be liquidy, like I said. So here's mine. So I placed my closure on some foil. And I'm just going to take the comb and lightly put it on my closure. side from the closure. I'm going to hold the hair like this and rinse out this way to the side so that no peroxide goes through the hair. Next, I'm going to take some of this neutralizing shampoo. And put it through it. And put some on the closure.
I'm just massaging it, massaging the shampoo. I'm gonna flip it over and put shampoo on the other side just to make sure there's no more uh, bleach or dye or peroxide, there's nothing on the hair. After you get done sewing it all inside out like this and you're going to get you an elastic band um, this is a one and a half inch elastic band and you're going to measure your head my head is about 13 inches so you measure your head and then subtract seven inches from that and then you're just going to sew the elastic band from one side to the next of your closure that way your wig stays on your head secure and tight I hope you guys like it. I've curled it a little bit, not um, a whole lot, but just a little bit. But um, I really like it. I feel like I did a really good job for my first time ever making a wig. I thought I did a really, really good job. Um, for the, part, the top part, for your closure, you can put where the part is right here. You can put concealer on the closure and on your scalp to make it look a little bit more natural look and make it look a, look a little bit more like your scalp. Um, I didn't put any concealer on um, this time, but I have done it and it really did look natural, but 
I hope you guys really like this video. And like I and like I've said in my previous videos, please leave any comments down below for any suggestions or if you feel like I did something wrong, please leave in some comments or how I can make something better. I would really appreciate it. And leave some comments on how uh, you've done your closure. Or, I mean, how you've done your wig and was it easy or any suggestions or anything that you may want to ask me about it. Uh, please like this video and until next time, I'll see you guys later.